Hello guys and gals, Buffalo here. It's raining today, like it has been so often here in my neck of the woods on the weekends. It's just a cycle we're stuck in. The rain seems to be hitting every single weekend. So I'm stuck up here in the reloading shack. I've been cleaning a few guns, and including this one. I just gave it a thorough cleaning. Been organizing some things and going through some stuff. And you know, you know how it is on a rainy day, just, just knocking out the boring stuff. But I've decided I'm going to delete the, the thumb safety on this m and 22 I've never liked that manual safety. Just remember, if you do modify your safety or remove it in any way, you know, you're responsible for your own actions. That's, uh, that's well, that's all there is to it. You're responsible for that. If something bad were to happen, somebody were to have an accident with it or you have an accident with it and you end up in court somewhere and... The prosecutor shows that you modified the safety feature on the gun. It's not going to look good on you. That being said, that's my disclaimer. That being said, I've made the decision to give this a try. If I don't like it, I can always go back to having the safety on it. So, to get started, we'll go ahead and remove the slide. And back in here. There's our slide and our recoil spring. Go ahead and take our guide rod out and set it aside. You don't need much to do this. I've got a punch and a hammer. I've got a roll of tape here. I'll show you what that's for. And I've got a AR-15 anti-walk pin. It's just a trigger pin that's threaded for screws on either side so you can screw the pin in and it, it won't walk out of your AR-15. You can get those anywhere. I read about this on the Nick Taylor blog site. Uh, they actually sell these pins for this. You can you can get AR-15 anti-walk pins at a lot of different places, but they, they actually sell one for this project uh, at, I think it's uh, Taylor Tactical Supply. It's about six bucks, but I can't provide any links just because the way YouTube is. Uh, they've really cracked down on the links and things that I can actually provide in my video descriptions so that being said we're going to take the punch here i'm going to set this so that it doesn't roll away but we're going to take the punch and punch out this pin and this pin they are roll pins i've got a roll pin punch here well first first i'm gonna this has got a magazine disconnect safety in it so i'm gonna put my magazine in and pull the trigger and let that hammer come forward that takes some pressure off this main spring in here so first we'll punch this one out got it almost all the way out there let's go ahead and knock it out You can see this whole thing's under spring tension. So now we move back here to the back. Try to knock this one out. Whoa. Pull this out slowly. This is holding everything in. All this is under spring tension. It's, it's wanting to push itself out. So, there we go. So, what I'm going to do here is pull this paddle off. I've got the, the safeties in the off position right now. Pull this paddle off. And this one, the whole pin should come out. Got the whole pin out. Now, a lot of people just pull the paddles off, leave that pin in here, and they're done. But I'm going to use this AR-15 pin because it'll look better cosmetically. So I'm just replacing the safety pin. 
with the AR-15 anti-walk pin. That's a little long, it sticks out, but once it sets down in the frame, you don't notice it. Now all we gotta do, put our pins back, and you can get those pins, they're the same thing, you can get them mixed up, it won't hurt nothing. Now, just like that, we have deleted the safety. So just real quickly, these are the parts I took off. I want to hang on to these. If I ever have to send the gun back in for warranty work, or if I ever get rid of the gun, if I were to trade it off or sell it, I'm going to put this factory safety back just like it was before I messed with it. So there, there it is, both sides of your factory safety. So just like that, we have deleted the safety, and it doesn't look so bad cosmetically where before, you know, if you just pull the paddles off, you've got this big square pin looking at you through this hole, and it just looks kind of off. With that AR-15 anti-walk pin in there, it just looks like it, you know, came from the factory that way. So we'll put our slide back on. I think that goes back in just like that. Yep. Recoil spring. And we're ready to rock and roll with the safety deleted. And for those of you wondering, this pistol does have the articulated trigger safety. You have to pull the trigger in a manner that unlocks or disengages the little catch before you can pull the trigger all the way for the gun to fire. And the pistol also has a built-in hammer block safety. So if, even if the hammer were to fall, if you were to drop the gun and the hammer slipped the sear, it still can't hit the firing pin unless the trigger has physically been pulled. So it's not like I'm rendering the gun totally unsafe. All I'm doing is removing those manual safety selector paddles. So that being said, that's all I've got today. Wish it wouldn't rain out. We'd get out on the range and shoot it a little bit, but I'll talk with you guys again soon.